Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the new free-to-play Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan at Rainbow Status to find out whether or not they're worth the grind, worth your orbs, and most importantly, worth your time. Okay, so with all that said, let's quickly check out their details. If you guys already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds and we'll get into the gameplay. So first things first, their leader skill is Kamehameha category, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 50%, super attack is double Kamehameha, which raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and their passive is attack plus 80% when performing a super attack, and then a great chance of an additional attack plus 80%, defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 80%, and then key plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%, when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking at the same turn, recovers HP with candy. Now their links are Kamehameha, All in the Family, Courage, Solid Support, uh, Cold Judgment, and Shadowing the Limit. And their categories are Kamehameha, Joint Forces, and Goku's Family. So there you go, that is everything you gotta know about the new free-to-play Halloween Grandpa Gohan and GT fan. I know some people said that this doesn't really make too much sense as a Halloween unit, but it is Bandai after all, and at this point, nothing Bandai does can really surprise me that much. So anyways, that is the unit, let's jump into the showcase. We're running a Goku's family team here, and on the first turn we got the support from the Goku and Gohan, and they're starting off with 49,777 defense, which honestly is not that impressive, especially with the support, but keep in mind, they do get more defense with every super attack, up to 4 supers for 80% more defense. And they also raise defense for one turn on their super attacks. So, um, you know, even though they're not going to be the best defensively, they should be okay. They should be okay. Now, for damage, that's actually not bad at all. Damn, okay, so 1.6 mil, right? 1.6 mil was the attack stat, and we only had one support. Um, I'm not sure if we actually activated the additional 80%. No, we must have. We must have. No, if there if there wasn't that additional 80% attack, then that means at full passive, they would be well over 2 million, which I don't think is the case. So I think that's the full passive as, as far as offense goes. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive, guys. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so next turn, we're not only gonna still have the Goku and Gohan but also the additional support from uh, I think the Xeno Goku too so two supports so even more damage and defense should be a little bit higher than it was last turn because we did super one time so let's see what it's up to now okay so second turn a second appearance and we're looking at 70,274 defense up from just under 50,000 so that's a pretty significant increase. Now let's see what the damage is. With two 30% supports now on rotation. First turn I was quite impressed. 1.6 million for a free to play unit. And now we're up to 1.9 or 1.89, essentially 1.9. There's an additional. Yo, this unit actually hits decently hard guys. Uh, ooh, okay. Yeah, see, we had to type this advantage there. It was a super attack. We're on the legendary Goku event, so I shouldn't be that surprised. But I do wish on defense they were a little bit more impressive. I do wish they could have gotten a little bit more defense. Obviously, we're not maxed out yet. They still have two more turns worth of, or two more supers worth of uh, defense increases. So I think by the end of the showcase, or you know, whenever they get four supers off, uh, we should be seeing in the range of like. 100,000 defense or so, which once again is not too great, but they should hold their own definitely on any Dokkan event. Um, when it comes to Super Battle Road, I don't think they're a great option. I'm sure they're usable, but you can definitely bring some more tanky units or units with more utility, utility like uh, dodge or healing or something like that. So while I wouldn't say that this is overall a amazing unit, right? That's going too far. I would say they are definitely what I thought they would be, which is a great substitute for anybody that needs a filler for Goku's family especially, but also 
Kamehameha or uh, joined forces. Obviously, you want to make sure that you can link them up with a Goku's family unit, because if you have that, then they're getting additional key plus two and uh, attack and defense plus 40%, right? Look at that, 1.94 here. 1.94. So this is a turn where we have the Goku and Gohan support as well as the Fizz Gohan support, right? So that's 30% plus 35%, so 65% attack. And we're pretty much right around a million. Defensively, they did pretty um, okay too, right? So yeah, just a really solid free-to-play unit. And uh, one other thing actually I didn't even mention, and I feel like some people probably didn't catch it, um, but if you, you know, noticed in the beginning, their links are actually, or their link set is actually not complete, okay? They have six links when there are a total of seven slots available, right? So what this has led some people, or a lot of people, to believe is that this unit is not complete yet. They're going to be getting a token awakening in the future and become an LR and fill out their link set, right? So um, I do think there is some possibility here. I do think that there's a chance that because they're missing a link that they might get an LR awakening in the future. But I wouldn't necessarily... I don't know, like, I don't think it's guaranteed. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I don't think that just because they have six links versus the normal, you know, seven links, like as you can see, Kamehameha on the family, courage, solid support, cold judgment, shatter the limit, that's six links. And for these guys right here, right, seven links, um, you know, everybody else has seven links. So yeah, because, you know, they're missing that one link, it must mean that there's something, something coming, right, an LR awakening. And I mean, obviously there's no precedent for that for a um, holiday unit like this or a Halloween unit like this to get an LR Awakening, but as I said, uh, nothing Bandai does can really surprise me, so I think there's a chance, but I would just say be cautiously optimistic because there's always the chance that it doesn't happen, so I don't want people to be disappointed in case it doesn't, and even if it does happen, ooh, there's the additional super, okay, so double supers this turn, 1.6 and then 1.6, so 3.2 that turn, really good, really impressive damage output, honestly. Honestly, I, when I came into the showcase, I was expecting like, you know, like over a million for sure. But I was thinking like maybe 1.2, 1.3 at the, at the limit. And these guys are putting up close to, you know, 2 million um, pretty consistently. So yeah, great damage, defense, solid. That is the word, that, that's actually the perfect word to describe their defense, solid. And uh, once again, the potential for an LR Awakening is there, but even if it does happen, I think the earliest we would get it would be for next year, not for like later on in this celebration, because um, I don't think there's actually going to be more events or anything like that, but uh, I guess I could be wrong, right? They could surprise us and give us a LR Awakening in a, like a week or so, but if we do get that Awakening, I think it's going to be next year. I think it's going to be for the next Halloween celebration in 2021, along with the uh, Extreme Z Awakening for the Kid Saiyan, Kid Saiyan of course and most likely another new Halloween unit, but yeah, that's just my prediction. That's just how I'm feeling. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Obviously, I don't have any, you know, inside information or anything like that, so I could be completely off about everything. Now, let me check the defense here. Uh, yep, yeah, over, over 100,000. 105,411 to be exact which is, at least on this team we're running right now, going to be their limit. That's going to be the most defense we're going to be able to get out of them. And uh, look at that. Yeah, tanking for double digits. Now, this super attack is going to hurt a lot. We're going to survive it, but it's going to hurt a lot. Yeah, as you can see, 180k that was, I think. Now, you might, might have also noticed their damage dropped. Um, with this rotation, it should have been probably around 1.9, right? But it was 1.3, and the reason for that is because we didn't get that additional 80% attack. Because even though it's very, a very high chance, it's like 70% to get it, every once in a while, you're not going to get it. So on that turn, we only got the, uh, we only, only got the uh, initial 80%, we didn't get the great chance for 80%, and uh, we also of course got the... 80% uh, defense and also keep plus 2 attack and defense plus 40% but since we were missing 80% attack there that's why there was such a big drop off in uh, the damage output in case people were confused you're like yo 
they were doing so much damage before like what 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 happened right like why why are they not doing damage all of a sudden so 1.3 honestly was what i was expecting most of the time right i was like when i came in i was like yo they'll, they'll do like 1.2 1.3 it's gonna be nice it's gonna be decent i'll be like okay good unit use it if you want to but the fact that they're putting up numbers closer to 2 million and then still you know doing okay on defense if for, for newer players out there, I think it's no-brainer, right? For for newer players who need fillers for these teams, for these categories, uh, I would just say straight up go for it, farm them. I mean, I would just farm everything anyways, right? Honestly, like that's the kind of person I am where um, if there is a unit to farm and rainbow, then I'm going to do it regardless of like if they're amazing or just average. But I know like not everybody has a ton of orbs to spare, right? Especially new players who um, haven't been playing for that long, you're gonna be very short on orbs. I remember earlier on when I first started playing, uh, I was constantly running out of orbs to uh, give to my various units, right? So um, I know that budgeting is very important. And if you don't need them, I would definitely say, you know, save your orbs, right? But um, I, think, I think they're worth it for sure. I do think that the unit is good enough, especially if it's gonna get an LR Awakening. But that being said, we can't really rely on that because that's not guaranteed. So uh, basically, yeah, I would still give the stamp of approval for investing in this unit, for, um, you know, using them if you, if you need that filler. But uh, yeah, overall, they just have impressed me. They, they have impressed me. Look at look at this tanking. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so as long as we're not getting supered, it's all double digits across the board right now. And Super Saiyan God Goku actually hits pretty hard. You saw how much damage the uh, tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku took. To be fair, he's not known as a defensive unit by any means. Yo, Fizz Gohan coming in clutch with the dodge, man. Uh, yeah, but he's not known as a defensive unit by any means, right? 55,000 defense with the support on rotation. That's just sad. And that's a big reason why people like the trash um, this dude, right? Even though he's... A dope unit. I, lo I love his design. Um, we do need a new full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku because this one is um, he, he falls short. He falls short uh, defensively. Offensively, he's still okay, right? He can still like do some damage offense. Yeah, like 2.5. Okay, see, it's, it's something. But yeah, I think overall he's just kind of kind of mediocre by today's standards, right? So uh, yeah, there you go. That Why are we talking about full power so much? Um, yeah, we'll talk about him in a future video, but for now, let's go back to the focus here, which is Grandpa Gohan and Pan. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot, man. I, I like this unit. Hopefully we do get an LR Awakening in the future. If not, then we'll definitely get an EZA uh, at some point, right? So look forward to that. And there you go, that is the showcase. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this unit. And yeah, look at that. Even taking an attack from this Super Saiyan Blue Goku, 24K, I know it seems like a lot, but it's, it's actually not bad. Okay, with the type disadvantage, it's actually not bad. So anyways, that is the video guys. Thank you once again for watching, I appreciate you. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out